Okay, so today I'm going to teach you how to balance chemical equations using the algebraic method. You probably learned how to do this using trial and error, and that's okay, but if you're like me and you like a more rigid set of rules for something like this, you might want to give this method a try. So what we're going to do is use the same equation from the Khan Academy video. We have Al plus O2 reacts to form Al2O3. So we're going to start by adding a variable in front of each molecule. So we're going to put an A in front of the Al, a B in front of the O2, and a C in front of the Al2O3. So what we're going to do is write a series of equations for each atom in the chemical equation above. We're going to count the number of atoms in each molecule, and that number will be our coefficient for each variable. Okay, so let's start with aluminum. So in the A molecule, we have one aluminum. In the B molecule, we have none. Our arrow is going to become an equal sign. And in the C molecule, we have two aluminums. Now let's do the same thing for oxygen. So in the A molecule, we don't have any. In the B molecule, we have two oxygens, so two B. Arrow becomes an equal sign. And in the C molecule, we have three oxygens, so three C. So we have two equations and two unknowns, so we should be able to solve this. So we're going to start by setting one of the variables equal to 1. It doesn't matter which one you choose, so we'll just choose A for this example. So A equals 1. And now we're going to use the aluminum equation to solve for C. So we have 2C equals A. If A is 1, then 2C equals 1. We'll divide both sides by 2, so C equals 1 divided by 2. And now we're going to use the oxygen equation to solve for B. So we have 2 B equals 3C, but we just solve C, and C is 1 half, so that's 3 times 1 half, so 3 halves. And we're going to divide both sides by 2, so we have B equals 3 fourths. So now we have a solution for each variable, but the problem is they're in fractions. So what we're going to do to fix that is we're going to find our greatest denominator, which is 4, and we're going to multiply each solution by 4. So A is going to be 4 times 1, which is 4. B is going to be 3 fourths times 4, which is 3. And C is going to be 1 half times 4, which is 2. So let's plug everything back into our original chemical equation and see if it makes sense. So A is 4, so we have 4 Al plus B is 3, so we have 3 O2, which reacts to form C. C is equal to 2, so we have 2 Al2 O3. And so the last thing we need to do is check our answer to make sure each side is balanced. So on the left side we have 4 aluminums, and on the right side we have 2 times 2 equals 4 aluminums, so that's okay. On the left side we have 3 times 2 equals 6 oxygens, and on the right side we have 3 times 2 equals 6 oxygens. So our equation is balanced.